Hi YouTube! So today I'll be doing a JLo inspired tutorial and it is based on the video Ain't It Funny. I was watching it uh, recently and I was just so inspired by the look. I thought I'd try it out and this is what I came up with. Um, I'm just going to be doing the eye tutorial. If you guys do want to know how I did the face, just let me know and I'll do a tutorial on that as well. But for now, that's what I'll be doing today. And I'll also be using, for this tutorial, the 100 palette eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. So it's very affordable and it's a really fun look. I hope you guys enjoy. Just going to set you guys down there and start off. Now first, I'd like you guys to prime your eyes. Top and bottom. And just go ahead and spread it all over. You can use your hands or you can use a brush. It's completely up to you. Now you can use a black liner, a cream shadow of any kind that's black. But I do have the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Black Bean. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Some people use this on its own, but I have really oily lids. And... Um, it usually likes to cause me some issues if I just use the pencil alone. So I kind of like to use a base. You can go ahead. You can be messy with this. Um, I'm not really doing anything too specific with the look. And you can get any type of flat brush, which I cannot find mine. Oh, here it is. Like this. And you just go ahead and you blend it out till so it's all over your lid and just past your crease. This is going to help bring those vibrant colors out more because you blend the bottom as well. Okay, I'm going to go into this palette and I'm going to be taking, oops, yeah, I think one of my sides just came off. How did that happen? Uh-oh, had some technical difficulties, but when you open the palette, oh my gosh, like, what is it doing? When you open the palette, it's going to be the fourth color down, okay, and you're going to take any type of brush that you're comfortable with. I'm going to be using a flat shader brush. I'm going to grab that gold, and I'm going to go ahead and put it into my inner tear duct and inside the black, like in the inner third of my eye, and use it as well. Go right at the bottom. Don't worry about the fallout. You can always brush it off after. Okay. And the next color I'll be doing, I'm just going to flip it around, is three different colors. So if you go to the orangey shade, um, the fourth column, and then down... Four, so this color and down six this color and a mix of this pink which is in the sixth column and it's the fourth color down I'm gonna mix those three colors together so I'm gonna go ahead use this color this color and this color just mix it up and I'm going to use that for my highlight. I'll use it all the way. Use it for my highlight under the brow bone. And you can go back again to those colors. Mix it up. And you go ahead and you cover the rest of your eyelid. Like so. Ok. 
Okay. Now you're going to get another flat brush, like so. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab this color and it from the bottom where the red is, that dark between the two reds, you'll see this color here. Move up three to this color. I'm going to grab that. Now what you're going to do is cover half your lid like so and move it on up without touching your highlight bone just go straight on up to the top of under your brow and you fill in that void without touching your highlight brow highlight or your inner tear duct area okay and if you'd like you can go back into that color Okay, and you can just cover the outer half of that lid. As well, to get that vibrant, vibrant purple look. Now what you're going to do is get any type of small tapered brush like so. And you're going to go into this dark blue color here. Pat it in. And then from where the end of your eye is, just move it on up as if you're winging some liner. Okay, creating a cat eye effect. And move it inward. About halfway. You're going to go ahead, using that blue, you can add more color if you want, and this is supposed to define your outer corner. And what you're going to do is go back with a fluffy brush, and you're going to just go on and blend it into that purple. Now, to kind of get that beautiful, beautiful rouge type color, you're gonna go back again to where the purples are, and three colors down, so the third color, you're gonna pat that, and you're gonna go ahead, and you're gonna put that right in between to kind of blend out that blend in with the dark colors like so okay and I'm gonna both go back and get some more and put it on my eyelid to get that vibrant color that you see in the video. Okay, and just cover up a bit of that. Okay, and you go ahead back to that blending brush and you go ahead and you blend some more. So this video is getting a bit too long. I'm just going to finish blending and then we'll go to part two of this eye tutorial. Thank you so much.